by a team whose robot design incorporates a creative engineering solution to the design challenges of this year's game. Attributes such as solid mechanical ability, unique design solutions and innovative approaches to playing the game will be taken into account by the judges looking for the teams demonstrating a highly creative engineering design process. The key criteria for this award are, number one, the robot has a well-crafted, unique design solution demonstrating creative thinking. Number two criteria is the team has demonstrated a high creative engineering design process and mythology. Number three, the team has committed to ambitious and creative approaches to playing the game. Number four, the teamwork and interview quality. So for 2012-2013, the New Zealand National VEX Robotics Create Award goes to Team 2959Watt. Well done, Watt. Can we get the whole team, everyone involved, up on the, uh, the podium? Don't be embarrassed, guys. And uh, I think it's great to say... I think it's important to say that uh, Brenton is very, very keen on supporting us again this year. And we will be arranging training sessions in New Zealand, four teams. And we're actually looking at having a special Autodesk challenge in the middle of the year for New Zealand. So let's put our hands together again for what? An Autodesk and thank them very much. Well done, guys. Thank you very much, Brenton. Thank you very much, Watt. Well done. The next award is the Invent Award. And uh, we're inviting Welltech to come on the stand. You're going to see a little bit more of them during the Kiwi Challenge because they've got a special, uh, special thing to announce. But let's uh, invite Darian Hudson and Graham Carson from Welltech up onto the stage to prevent, present the Invent Award. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Chris. It's a great delight for uh, Darian and myself to be asked to give this award today. The Invent Award is presented to a team that has truly a unique robot design. This team has not been afraid to take risks during the development of the robot, and as a result has been a distinctively individual approach to the season's gaming machine, or challenges, sorry. The 2012-2013 New Zealand National Vets Robotics Invent Award goes to team number 5874 Alpha Hut Valley High. Well done Hut Valley, where are you guys? Thanks very much. Hutt Valley High, well done. Where's uh, the rest of the team? There must be more. Here we come. Let's get a good photograph in the center there, guys. And we need to, to bear in mind that these guys have been judged out of all 60 teams. It's not by chance. It's not because they're pretty, because we know they're not. Well, some of them are. It's because they've actually come up with some really, really good designs. Uh, it's good to see a good number of students in a team. Well done, guys. Let's get a good photograph of you guys. And we'll see you seeing more of Welltech in a minute. Thanks very much. Awesome. I think it's actually quite important now to uh, invite Fraser Noble up onto the stand from Massey University. Now, interesting little chap. I think he's the youngest pre, uh, lecturer at Massey University. <laughs> Not for being young, but for being managing to become a lecturer. We well. didn't think you would. <laughs> and he's just completed his, ma or handed his master's in. I don't know if you passed. Oh, no, it's a PhD, Chris. PhD. <laughs> so we might have to call him doctor. Is there a doctor in the house? And Fraser would jump up. It's really good. Now, Fraser... We'll be talking a little bit later again about the design award, yes? Yep, absolutely. And uh, so we're going to tell him to keep a speech short because if we don't keep the speech short, Fraser will talk forever. We know he's like that. Just but it's really lines. good. So, yeah, Fraser's going to be presenting two awards, I believe. Build. Yep. And then yep. I think 
you'll be presenting the Think Award. Yep, absolutely. That's coming next. Yep. Thanks very much, Fraser. Well, we'll let you go away with it, buddy. Cheers. Thanks, Chris. All right. So for the first award that I'm presenting, it's the Build Award, which is given to a team that has built a well-crafted, constructed robot that shows a clear dedication to safety and attention to detail. Have looked for uh, The judges have looked for robots that have a professional feel and quality look to them with clear attention to detail and construction, efficient use of mechanical and electrical components, and reliability on the com uh, competition field. The key, uh, key criteria to this award was the robot construction was of professional quality with a robust, clean, and elegant use of building materials. The robot efficiently used mechanical and electrical components. The robot was designed with detailed attention to the hazards and rigors of the competition, and that the teamwork and interview quality was also considered. The judges' comments for this robot was that it was robust, rigid, well-designed structurally. For the 2012-2013 New Zealand National VEX Robotics Build Award, this is presented to Team 2921A Free Range Robotics. Congratulations. Ooh, well done. I think he's actually quite well spoken. No wonder he's managed to... We'll get him in the middle of the screen so we get some photographs of the genius wanted behind. So if you want to move along and get the whole team, that's awesome. We've got to shepherd these guys and wait for them, otherwise they're not sure exactly where to go. And he's not quite yet a doctor, so he's just beginning. Well done, Homeschool. A very, very impressive design, very impressive robot. I hope we got enough photos for mummies and daddies. Awesome job. Thanks very much, Homeschool. A round of applause. Thank you. Okay, Fraser, we got you up again for the next one. Do you want me to remove that one? Yeah. I'll hide that one. You can get on to the next one, and I'll give you a microphone back. All right. There we go, Fraser. Thank you, Chris. All right, so this next award is the Think Award. The Think Award is presented to a team that has successfully uh, utilized autonomous programming modules during competition. Quality, consistency, and success of autonomous programs in and being an integral part of an effective strategy will help to determine a winner of this award, as well as the ability for the students to explain their programming process from strategy to syntax. The key criteria of this award was the team's autonomous code was effective to task, cleanly written, well-defined, and elegantly designed. The team has explained a clear autonomous strategy that is a part of their overall strategy to win the game. The team's autonomous code was consistently successful in the field, and also the teamwork and interview quality was considered. The judges were impressed by this team's use of sensors, specifically the gyro compensator. The 2012-2013 New Zealand National VEX Robotics Think Award goes to Team 2911C, Binary Blitz of Avondale College. Well done, Binary. Congratulations, guys. Binary Blitz. It's also uh, amazing how that team has been consistent over the years. Uh, I think we've finally managed to persuade them to go to the World Championships. Hey, I think we should get the teacher to stop taking photographs and go and join the team. Come on. Up you get. We've got to get you in the photograph. Can you come to someone else? That's it. That's the problem with all you teachers. You're so my, meek and mild. You hide in the background. Well done. Awesome job. Another couple of photos. Swap the cameras. Okay, great. I think we've had enough of Fraser. Thank you, Fraser. We'll see you again. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I love giving out awards. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, AUT, Jonathan Curry, is going to come up and join us and present the Amaze Award. And uh, this is a great award, but it's also important that AUT is joining us because I think, apart from Welltech, they're one of our freshest universities. Jonathan only just found out about VEX yesterday, but thank you very much for all doing all the hard work judging. So... Now you have to deliver what you judge, Jonathan. Well, n not a problem. This has been an absolutely fantastic experience, and I'm just blown away, guys. It, this room, you're just filled with the best engineers, computer scientists, and probably even scientists as well. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you at AUT, Auckland, Massey, wherever you choose to go. I'm just absolutely blown away, guys. So I'm presenting the Amaze Award, and this 
it will be presented to a team that has built a competition robot that clearly demonstrates overall quality, a solid mechanical design, along with demonstrated programming, robustness, not, uh, not audio work though, obviously. <laughs> Consistency um, are all key attributes for this award. The key criteria included the robot design is a consistently high scoring and competitive robot. Its autonomous mode is consistent and successful. The robot is robustly constructed and designed to fulfill its tasks successfully. And we were really impressed with the teamwork and overall interview quality when we came round. Uh, we as the judges were very impressed with the overall novel design. Um, we think that the, uh, the concept of this particular robot really added to its successfulness and we really enjoyed interviewing the team. So, the 2012-2013 New Zealand National VEX Robotics Amaze Award goes to Team 2918A GCEC. Well done, Glenn Pearl. This amazing team, these guys, they're, they just seem to be always everywhere. I think it's probably because they're yellow. And uh, where's David? David, aren't you supposed to be with your team rather than taking photographs? I know, he's behind you, David Aston. I'm looking at him, he's kind of high. That's okay, we'll get some photographs. Thank you very much, Jonathan, for all the judging and for joining us. Well done, GCC. Okay, um, we're going to go into the semi-finals in uh, just a short while. But don't run away because I see uh, just over half a table's worth of awards left. So please, let's stay. And I really want to see some of you guys supporting. I think, okay, I see a barrier halfway down here. You guys over that side, from now on, you have to support blue. Okay. No, no, okay, you have to support red. Okay, you guys have to support blue. Okay, well, you can make up your mind, but support somebody, okay? Because I'm going to start shouting, and I think without a microphone, I can make more noise than you guys, okay? So the, be the deal's on. Let's get ready for the semifinals. I think they're due to start at uh, three, uh, five minutes past three, so we'll kill some time. And uh, I think those guys' semifinals batteries should be charged. We'll get back to our commentators. Thank you, guys. Testing, testing. Testing. Testing.
All right, um, so, has anyone's lost a Canon camera? Well, if anyone's found one. They should come to the front, I guess. All right, so, Kiwi Challenge. Who knows what a field element is? He knows, he knows.